everyone, welcome to Rebecca's Ancient Chinese Math Academy. And today we are going to look at the tower problem. This this problem comes from the nine chapters on the mathematical art, which is a which is an ancient math book from China. This book is composed by several generations of scholars from 10th to 2nd century BCE. It contains the oldest operations on algebra. This book is also referred to sometimes as the art of math. So let's look at this tower problem here. There is a tall tower that has seven floors. There are red flat rooms on each floor, but we don't know how many. However, we do know that starting from the highest floor, the number of flat rooms double on each floor as we go down the tower. There are 381 flat rooms in total in this tower. The question asks, how many flat rooms are on each floor of the tower? To solve this problem, we will use the equation. Let's set the number of flat terms on the highest floor, on the seventh floor, to x, because the number of flat terms on the highest floor is the least among all the floors of the tower, and because the number of flat terms double on each floor as we go down the tower. We can find that the second to highest floor must have two x letters. The third to highest must have four x. The fourth to the highest must have eight x. If you see. You can tell that I am doubling the number of letters as I go down the tower, and then that would be sixteen x for the fifth to the highest four, and thirty-two for the second floor, which is the sixth to the highest, and. Sixty-four x for the bottom floor, Be because we know that there are thirty, three hundred and eighty-one letters in total, so we can add these numbers up. And this equals to one hundred and twenty-seven x if you plug. All those numbers into calculator, and this equals to three hundred and eighty-one. So we can solve for x it equals to three if you plug the numbers into calculator, and we have arrived at the answers. Therefore, from the first to the seventh floor. Sorry, this should be from the seventh to the first floor. The number of flat terms are three, six, twelve, twenty-four, forty-eight, ninety-six, and one. And you can always check yourself by adding these numbers up and see if the sum equals to three hundred and eighty-one. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave a message in the comment area, and I will get to your question as soon as possible. Thank you very much.